What is going on YouTube and we are back with another one. Alright guys, so in this drop I'm coming at you with a stock to load up on next week. Now before I get this show on the road, if you're looking to change your future financially using the stock market, do join the movement by hitting that subscribe button. And if you're already locked in and you know someone, whether a family or a friend, who could do with earning money using the stock market, do bless them by putting them on the channel. Now before we kick things off, I've got to tell those who are new to the channel, down in the comment section we've got the scammers going at it in full force, impersonating myself, giving out WhatsApp numbers, talking about crypto schemes. That's not me. I don't do that kind of thing. You guys know what to do. Just report them and ignore them. So guys, the long weekend has arrived. Now we can use this to our advantage because in a regular trading week, Monday to Friday, I know a lot of you guys are active in your portfolios, especially if you're anything like our Discord group, jumping into plays, exiting plays regularly. So we can use this downtime to our benefit. And you guys know I'm going to do my best to show up each and every day right throughout the long weekend to put you guys on game ready for next week so you guys are better able to navigate these markets and do what we do best. Now I'll give you guys a lot of plays on the channel because I've identified a lot of opportunities out there in the market but I don't want any to slip by you guys. Now I want to talk to you guys about strategies to ensure these plays do not slip off your radar because it's a very easy thing to do. So when I do post that update video saying that play's blown up and we made good money, I don't want anybody feeling left out, feeling like they're on the sidelines because the play dropped off their radar. And every time it happens, I do get one of you guys commenting saying that you missed out on the opportunity. So I'm going to give you guys three strategies. The first is to add the play to your watch list. So just follow on screen with me. Simply done. Now regardless of what broker you're using, all of them will allow you to add these plays to your watch list. So play around with the platforms, get used to them and start adding these plays to your watch list. Guys, the second strategy to ensure these plays do not slip off your radar, that is to set price alerts on these plays. Now the key with that is that you set the price alert slightly above our entry price. So if that stock price hits your alert price, you get notified and if there's further downs momentum, you can react and pounce. The third strategy I've got for you guys, that is to set limit buys on these plays at our entry prices. So that's simply done. So instead of placing a market order, we place a limit buy with the entry price. So if that stock price comes down, if it cools off, you can enter that stock automatically. All right, so now we've got that covered off. Let's get ready for our first one. So we've got C Limited, ticker symbol SE. Now this is a play I first introduced the channel to last year but the time has come to pick this one back up. So we're revisiting this play. Now guys, when we're investing, often the right move is the one that seems counterintuitive and often the wrong move is the one that seems intuitive. So I'm gonna give you guys an example. When we see that stock price running up, it seems intuitive to jump in while that stock is running up because you think it's gonna run up forever. But often there's a recorrective move, that stock price comes down and you're left in the dark. Now, when we see that stock price come down, that's the counterintuitive move that we need to pounce on. Now, we've seen a lot of tech plays over the last couple of weeks come down heavy during the market sell-off. And C Limited is a play that has tech exposure. So this is a play that's opened up a good entry to pick up in the markets and increase our positions or start a new position if you haven't already done so and you weren't rocking with the channel. If you didn't know the channel last year when we first picked this one up, now I'm going to let you guys know, now's the time to start picking back up these tech plays. We know that we've seen a rotation of funds out of tech plays into recovery plays. And this is off the back of that rising bond yields. You guys know I've been tracking that bond yield with you. We saw it rise from around 1.4% up to 1.7%. This is causing panic, a bit of fear and a sell-off in the market. So a lot of investors are taking money out of the tech plays, out of the clean energy plays, the EV plays as well and repositioning, depositing that money into recovery plays or holding it as cash. But the key thing here is that the actual businesses, the tech businesses and the EV businesses, they're still running well, still operating like they need to, hitting their numbers, hitting their KPIs, doing exactly what they need to do. So I always say as investors, we are investing into the business, not into the share price. So we can use this to our advantage and pick up these plays in the cheap. Because what will happen is, the share price will then follow the business movement. It's just a matter of time and you will make good returns that way. Now C Limited, this is a play that's diverse in what they do. They've got e-commerce and we know that's a sector that's here to stay and it's gonna continue growing moving forward. They expo they're exposed to gaming as well and we love our gaming plays like our skills that we've got in the portfolio. And that's set to continue growing and they've also involved in digital payments as well. So this is a play that collectively, they've got some very fast moving subsidiaries. 
Also, they're expanding geographically into Latin America and other places. That's gonna to continue to give them room to run. So this is one of my favorite growth plays. We call them wealth builders. These are plays that you put the money in and you leave it to rest. You don't put a stop limit on them. You guys know that the play is safe in their hands and it's gonna to continue to build you guys wealth going forward. And I just wanna take a look at that stock price with you guys. Currently selling at 236. Guys, I'm comfortable with you starting a position at this level. You can nibble at this level, and with these plays, you know in this market condition, we grab the plays on the pullback. So if we see this on pullback to 230, we load. If you see it pullback to 225, you load again on the way down. You never buy this one on the way up. So I wanna show you guys this. The all-time high in this play is 285. So that's big upside on the current stock price. Now they will be retesting their all-time high. You guys gotta know the only reason that stock price is sitting where it is right now is because of the market weakness. But that shall pass and they shall resume their climb. So all we gotta do guys is just pick this play up and load up on the pullbacks. All right guys, let's talk about how we can level up as investors. Now I'm gonna talk to you guys about sector rotation. This is where you see funds move from one industry to another. Like we've seen with C-Limited and various other tech plays, see money being pulled out of them and repositioned into recovery plays. I want to let you guys know this is just a healthy stock market movement that we can use to our advantage because with change brings opportunity, not just a stock market, every aspect of life. And all we got to do is just think ahead and reposition our capital in those plays where we've seen the rotation of funds out of because they're going to rotate back into those plays and you're going to make good returns that way. So I'm going to give you guys a heads up on what's going to come next. Those recovery plays are gonna see a rotation of funds out of them and into growth plays and into tech plays sometime at the end of summer. This is because a lot of those recovery plays are heavily burdened with debt and the investors are gonna be nervous about holding them and their future going forward. So they're gonna transition their capital out of those plays. Now, this doesn't stop us winning with those plays in the short term. We just need to have our exit strategy with our recovery plays, like I tell you guys, and I'll give you the heads up when we're gonna exit some of our best recovery plays over here. So the move is to get positioned into those plays that I've got beaten down, that I show no love right now because they've seen the rotation of funds out of them, like the tech sector, like the EV sector, like the clean energy sector but only the quality plays that are based on good fundamentals. And I give you those plays on the channel. All right, guys, been rocking with the channel. You know what time it is. Now this question comes from Philip says, what are your top picks for crypto plays, both for swing trading and for long-term hold? There are many to choose from, but difficult to see which are the best. I'm an eBang on your recommendation, quite happy with that position. But it seems to be all the other plays running with Thunder at the moment, Mara, Riot, Hive. So firstly, I want to say happy holidays to you and I hope you get some downtime over the next few days. Now, this is a great question. I want to draw you guys' attention to the price of Bitcoin. So as you can see, we're trading at $59,000. And I just remind you guys, the all-time high on this one was over 61000 So we're hovering very close to the all-time high in Bitcoin. And if we do cross over that $61,000 mark, that does mean big things for our crypto mining plays. And you guys know, wherever there's opportunity in the markets, that is where we're gonna be positioned to make some good money. Now, with these crypto mining plays, you guys know we've been crushing these plays since way back last year. As I say, we're gonna continue winning with them as we move forward, but we need to be more and more strategic of how we move with these crypto plays. So first up, I wanna to say to you guys, a couple of weeks ago, any play that announced that they had, they're gonna deploy some crypto miners, that share price was blowing up. But now the market is getting a bit more testing as it does. So these crypto plays need to have an edge above the competition for the investors to react and to react well and in a sustained way. So when it comes to the best crypto plays to hold long term, guys, I'm looking at Mara and I'm looking at Canon. Those are my top two crypto plays because we know a play like Mara, they're going to deploy a hundred thousand miners, just sets them in a league of their own versus the competition. Now, Crypt, uh, Canon, they're also in a league of their own because they're Bitcoin mining machine manufacturers and no one does it at their scale. So they have that leg up on the rest of the competition. I suggest you guys swing trade these crypto plays because a lot of you guys won't be able to stomach the volatility. And because of the volatility, it's easy for us to time entries and exits. Now, if I just draw your attention to Ebom, as you can see guys, Look at the volatility in that stock price. All you gotta do is buy this at support, which is around that $6 mark, and you can see this one spikes up. Spiked up to $11 there. 
and just over $11 there. So that's almost double your money on these spikes. So you're best off buying at support, selling at resistance. Buying at support, selling at resistance and repeating the process. Now, I like Ebon because they're doing things differently as well. They're said to launch their crypto exchange and they're getting into all various different products related to digital currency. So it's those players that have the leg up, the edge above the competition that are just doing things differently are the players you guys want to be focusing on. All right, guys, that wraps things up. Now, as we progress through the next few days, I am bringing the heat to ensure that you guys are prepped and ready to dominate next week in the markets with me. So do make sure you hit that like button for me, hit the subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one.